Hi friends! Welcome back to our read aloud of Ghosts Do Splash in Puddles. Now, we left off our friends in Principal Davis's office and they saw that the ghost was swirling around the papers in a ghost storm and they thought that Mr. Shadow was definitely a ghost. Now, today's read aloud is really short, so I'm actually going to read chapters 9 and 10, which means today we're going to finish up the book. I'm so excited to figure out what the end to our book is, so let's get started. Chapter 9, Bad Idea. The next day, Eddie tapped his, the lunchroom table with his fingers. He banged his fork on the bench. He was so mad that he couldn't sit still. He felt like there was steam coming out of, their ear, out of his ears. He had to get the puddle ghost. Principal Davis thinks we made that mess yesterday, Liza said. Now it's no recess for a week. The puddle ghost made that mess, Howie said. Melody shook her head. It was only the wind. It was the ghost, Eddie said. For Eddie, no recess was worse than having all his teeth pulled. He wanted to get even. Liza took a big bite of green jello and a sip of milk. It gave Eddie an idea. A bad idea. The worst idea ever. Chapter 10, Slime. If the puddle ghost wants puddles, Eddie said, maybe we should give him puddles. Eddie, Howie said, what are you talking about? Eddie grinned an evil smile. That made Liza worried, very worried. Uh-oh, she said. That's how Eddie looks right before he's tripped the school bully. He looked the same way when he let all the hamsters out of their cages. Howie added. He smiled that way just before putting the itching powder in the art box, Melody added. Don't do it, Liza told him. We're in enough trouble already. Eddie picked up his chocolate milk. He planned to splash milk all over Mr. Shadow's feet. It was a bad plan, a very bad plan, but Eddie ended up doing something even worse. Eddie looked at Mr. Shadow. He was carrying a pile of dirty plates towards the kitchen. Eddie walked towards Mr. Shadow. Stop, Melody said, grabbing Eddie's arm. Leave me alone, Eddie said. He pulled away from Melody. He didn't see the lunch room lady in front of him. Eddie's arm jerked into the lady. He knocked into the big pan of jello she was carrying. Sorry, Eddie said but it was too late. The pan of jello flew into the air. It flew over Melody's head. It soared like a green jet plane. Yikes, Howie yelled. The green jello shot towards Mr. Shadow like a slime train. Plop! The jello landed on Mr. Shadow's brown shoes. Mr. Shadow picked up his foot. He stomped on the jello. He splashed in the jello. It splashed on Eddie. It splashed on Melody. It splashed on Howie. It splashed on Liza. That's it. I quit, cried Mr. Shadow as he slinked out of the lunchroom. At recess, Eddie didn't play kickball. At recess, Melody didn't run races. At recess, Liza didn't swing on the swings. At recess, Howie didn't read a book. Instead, they wiped Jello off the floor. They wiped Jello off the wall. They even wiped Jello off the lunch lady. This is the worst recess ever, Eddie said. At least Mr. Shadow disappeared after the Jello mess, Melody said. He just couldn't put up with Eddie's messes. Or, Liza said softly, Maybe he was a ghost after all, and Eddie discovered the one thing ghosts can't stand, jello slime. If Liza's right, Howie said, then ghosts really do splash in puddles. Eddie sat up straight. He puffed out his chest. I saved Bailey's school from the puddle ghost. Now Liza has nothing to fear. Isa looked at Eddie. You did that for me? You really are a good friend, she told Eddie. Thank you. 
And then Liza gave Eddie a great big hug. Friends, that's the end of our book. Now, how did they finally get rid of Mr. Shadow? Eddie accidentally dropped a, bu dropped a bunch of jello on him. Now, the book doesn't tell us one way or another if Mr. Shadow was the ghost. I want you to talk about with your parent, next door neighbor, brother, sister, grandma, aunt, uncle, whoever's taking care of you, talk with them and see if you think that Mr. Shadow was the puddle ghost. I mean, there were some strange things happening. Maybe he was the puddle ghost. I would love to know what you think. Thank you, friends, for joining me for this read aloud. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.